So it's that time of year again when we start to see all of the sneak previews of the ski gear that's due for release in the 2019-2020 winter season. Now I'm kind of upset I didn't make it over to SIA this year to see it all in person, but I have been searching the internet to keep up with what is the latest in ski boots for next year. So there is actually a whole heap of interesting things we can talk about, so let's dive right in and see what's new in the world of ski boot tech for 2019. Now brace yourself, because rear entry ski boots are back. Get ready. Now, I'm not really sure what to think of this one. It is quite a blast from the past, but Atomic have recreated the rear entry boot, and this one is known as the Saver. So what we're looking at with this boot, they have sort of modernized a little bit. It's come into the modern era with their ProLight construction. Uh, also something that's really cool is they have a pump system. So to get a better fit at the instep and snug it up, uh, you can actually pump them up like your Reebok pumps. When I pump up, my size 13s get support, protection, and a custom fit. Up in Austin for a fresh pair of foursome, of course, with footwear, I'll be that first nigga. But overall, I hate on them, but really they will serve a purpose. It definitely is an accessible boot. Uh, a lot of rental fleets will probably utilize it, and also people that really struggle to get a ski boot on. Now, even though the cuff fit is gonna be horrible, uh, it actually might have a really good flex when we look at a rear entry boot with modern plastics. I'm really interested to see it in person and see how it goes. So, yeah. Now another brand new ski boot that I'm really liking the look of this year, and that is one from K2 called the Mindbender. Now essentially what we're looking at with the Mindbender is the K2 Recon, but completely recreated as their hybrid AT style of ski boot. So you get that same great fit and performance that the Recon offered, but now you get tech inserts, grip walk soles, a P-Bax cuff, and a really burly looking hike mechanism. So overall, just a super versatile boot. I think K2's kicked a heap of goals on this one. It looks great. It has 50 degrees range of motion and you save quite a bit of weight from its Alpine counterpart. So love to see it, great addition, and one I think is very worthwhile taking a closer look at. Now this is a really interesting one, a new ski boot from Dow Bello called the Lupo Air. Now I'm kind of getting mixed reports on this one. I don't want to report the wrong thing, uh, but the first thing I actually heard about this boot was that Dow Bello had created a new type of construction as to where they're actually shooting air pockets into the grill image shell to save a whole bunch of weight. Uh, but now this boot's on broader release and I'm trying to read up on it a little bit more. I can't actually confirm that, so I might have been steered in the wrong direction. But what we are looking at is a boot that is super lightweight. We're looking at 1299 grams. It is a Greeley Mid polyamide construction. Um, also what's interesting, you can see that there is no tongue. It's built like a three-piece boot, but we're really relying on two ratchet buckles which I'm not rating that highly, and also a cable closure system on the front. So you really have a full gusset down the front of this boot. You're relying completely on the top strap at the cuff, and the flex is really reliant on the spine of this boot. So completely, I guess the focus is saving a lot of weight, making the uphill uh, very easy, um, but we'll see. It's rated at 130, so it's a pretty high rating as far as performance is concerned. Um, Jury's out on it, uh, it looks cool, it saves a ton of weight, um, but it'll be interesting to see what the reports are when people start skiing on this boot. But an interesting one nonetheless. Scarpa have released a new version of their Mistrali with the new Mistrali XT. Uh, essentially it's a beefed up version of this boot, so we're going to a 130 flex. Uh, we're looking at 56 degrees range of motion and just a solid boot all round. So someone that's heavier, more aggressive, that loves that Scarpa Mistrali fit, probably is really going to love this XT version. Very cool. Fisher are expanding their Ranger series of boot, where we now have the Ranger 1. Uh, it's essentially a 101 lasted version of the Ranger 3, so that's really great for wider feet. Now Dynafit have created two new versions 
of the Hoji boot. Uh, one that's a little bit more price conscious with a PU shell. And then another one with toe and heel lugs, so it's going to be compatible with Alpine bindings. Now Nautica have upgraded their striders to now have tech fittings. Uh, they've also created a Speed Machine Elite with a carbon cuff. Now Full Tilt have updated their wrap liners to now allow for footbeds. That's gonna save a whole heap of problems. I love that update. And them full tilt liners are super comfy. That is a goal and a half. Also, they've created Apre booties. So those look really sweet too. Now, Salomon has upgraded their whole line of Pro Series and followed the S Max of last year. So now the whole new S Pro gets all of those construction updates to follow suit. Now, Atomic love to bring new things to the table, and this year is no different with the Hawks Ultra XTD Connected. Now, essentially what we're looking at here is a ski boot that is gonna be able to track your turns. So it is gonna be connected to your phone via Bluetooth, sense what your feet are doing, and then let you know just how you're skiing. So this is a really cool innovation, and at least it's something now you don't have to just tell everyone how good you are, you'll now have the proof. Dalbello Pantera saves a little bit of weight and now gets grip walk soles for 2019. Atomic have also updated their Backland series of boots, now getting a BOA closure system on the front. Now Head are expanding their light series of boots, so built just like the Nexo light, there now is the head edge light. So it's the same construction with the graphene, the thin walls, and the liquid fit liner, but now there is a 102 millimeter last. So a really great wider fitting addition. Now Lang haven't done a whole heap new, but they have released a couple of stiffer flexing boot options. So there now is an XT140 flex, and they've also created a pink 140 RX. So for the X racers that want to still charge around, could be some pretty cool options. And the last thing of note that I can see that's really new, and that is Dalbello expanding out the easy walking. And now for the kids, there is Grip Walk Junior Souls. All right, and that's really it. All of the highlights that I could find of ski boots for the 2019-2020 winter. Now, if I have missed anything, please let me know in the comments because I want to know too. Thanks for watching. Stay rad. Catch you in the next video.